I think what I'm most proud of in my career is that if I look back to when I started work in a bank counting cash and filling cash machines at 16. I could have never foreseen where my career and business life would go through to um, buying the business and exiting the business and then becoming a dragon. I could never have foreseen that. So I think looking back, I'm just proud that I have grasped every opportunity that's either come towards me or I've foreseen and gone to grab it. So when I invested in Ed Hollands on a Dragon's Den, who has the Driven Media business, which is a very simple business in concept of advertising on the side of lorries, what I saw in Ed when he came through the doors was a very raw young man, but with lots of potential. And I love investing in young entrepreneurs. I am a big supporter of um, entrepreneurial hubs and accelerators, as well as doing work with the Prince's Trust um, with um, more disadvantaged, less advantaged um, young people in helping them to become successful uh, either in long-term employment or as entrepreneurs. So in Ed I saw that raw entrepreneur that could be helped and shaped with a bit of sort of wisdom and financial support and you know I'm very I'm delighted to be working with Ed and his business has continued to grow since the den. I am a director of Women of the Year Award. I won that award as the I won the Business Woman of the Year Award in 2014, and then about two years ago, I was asked by the board of um, WATI, as we call it, Women of the Year. I was asked by the board to join them to help them to basically grow this award and the impact it has on women in business and women achievers. So I came onto the board two years ago, um, almost immediately did a sort of mini strategic review. Um, you know, what is the purpose of this vehicle? How much money do we bring in? What does this achieve? How much uh, surplus money do we give to charity? And how can we, you know, expand that? And so I've brought more sponsors to the table. Um, so we have bring more money into it. The event is has grown and grown. I think we will have 700 at the event now, 700 almost fully, uh, almost all ladies at the event in October this year and we are giving increasing amounts to charities such as Princess Trust Women Supporting Women Initiative. So um, you know it's sort of a virtuous circle of supporting women to achieve more. So what do I think the impact of Brexit will be on British enterprise? You know I think it will be a mixture of, um, there is a general relief that um, we now have a decision made and we're moving forward. Regardless of which side you voted, we've kind of moved on from that. So we've taken away uncertainty, which is good. That breeds positivity into uh, British enterprise and the economy. You can see that with how, you know, how sales are improving now, etc. I think we'll, we'll have a that'll be a bit of a mixture of still uncertainty through the transition period. And where there's uncertainty, there'll be a bit of chaos and confusion. I can imagine there'll be some scenarios where the wrong, the wrong regulation or the wrong policy or procedure is applied to something because somebody's confused. That are we doing this now? Or are we doing that now? You know, even down to which queue you stand in at the uh, at the um, you know in the airports. Do we stand in that one or that one? But I think it will all begin to settle down. And generally, generally speaking, it's now very positive that you as a business can work out what this means for you. You'll need to do some work on that over this transition period, but you can manage, once you know what that is, you can manage it. And uh, as I always say, there'll be opportunities for some, there'll be challenges for other, others, and it's just a matter of, of dealing with those positively.